Hello, Officer Scobie, and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host, Christopher Witecki. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Before we dive in, I want to give you a personal invitation to come on down and party at our little garden called soulgarden.me, where it's all about dot me. Now, I've been watching the way the internet's going. I just got out of a career transit myself, so I've been looking at the vision for Soul Garden in this next year, and I've decided exactly what I want it to be. My heart wants it to be. We are going to be a cool club to hang out at. We're that cool club, that after school club, that shack you go hang out with your best friends. We're where you can talk about all the goofy stuff that you can't post on your Facebook profile. We are where people like you are and you can be yourself. That's what it's all about. We are a booster shot, a secret club for those who know who know at soulgarden.me and we've got full support too. We're building up a lot of support, soul, soul support, group manifestation, all sorts of stuff. You'll see through this horoscope all the stuff we are doing. So come on down and check us out, Scorpio. Set up your little zen, little zen den at our place. Also, right here, uh, Inner Peace is Simple. That is the story this week uh, that we're, uh, that, what is it? I have to look at it now. Mara, sorry, I had to look at my notes, Mara. So much to memorize. Uh, has written uh, for the Scorpio zen den. So take a look at it. I think it's very profound because the truth of the matter is that is where Scorpios are screwing up a lot. Your brain, Pluto in the third state of awareness is saying that Scorpios do tend to overcomplicate it Bring a lot of code to the table. Now, speaking of code, speaking of manifesting, Lightcast Boot Camp. I am pulling off my next Lightcast Boot Camp, a six week course that makes you aware of what you're not aware of. What does that do? Put you in power, power of manifestation, stepping into your power. And this is one of the things we'll be going over in boot camp with the Scorpios. Their mind, most of the time, is what sabotages their spells. That is normally what keeps you from getting what you want are your thoughts. We'll talk about it in boot camp. It's a six week course. There's a payment plan. We're there for you. Come meet other Jedis. It's pretty cool for those who understand this part of the force. Now, moving to the Scorpio state of awareness and what you're focusing on with the tribe this month. As you probably know, as a simple review, human reality, I believe, is composed of 12 states of awareness. And every month we focus on one of those states and we look to improve upon it. When the sun moves into Pisces, it's party time for Scorpio because that is your heart chakra. Little known to man that love is a state of awareness onto itself, all right? Love is an entire state of awareness. So when you feel love in your heart, it is that your love state of awareness is open and your emotional state of awareness has become polluted with the love awareness. And so love permeates your emotional field. That's how states of awareness coexist and work with one, one, uh, each other, one another. That's what we teach in boot camp. So this is the time where you're gonna see your heart chakra. Is it open, is it not? This goes back to childhood. Those born in unsafe environments put their prince or princess up in the tower and they protect themselves. I work with my clients a lot on this topic. A lot of hearts shut down. And how do you open it back up? Well, this month, the universe is sponsoring just that. And as we begin chapter one on Monday, the sun is one degree Pisces. And the question to Scorpios is, can you feel the love? Can you feel it? That's what I'll be uh, sending out in GA, asking my clients, can you feel the love today? Because if you can't feel love today, we got a Houston, we've got a problem, all right? Now, most of the time we have a problem. Almost everyone has a problem. Everyone is blocked in the heart chakra. The world is freaking dangerous. And if you are over 40 and you're a Scorpio, you've had a hard life. I don't think you could have opened it until now. So that said, it's gonna be some work this month, but it's gonna lead to good things. The moon will be in Aquarius, so no matter where your heart is, you're probably feeling a little vulnerable on Monday. It's a nesting and resting day, so Monday you're vulnerable regardless. 
those of you that I watch over in the Guardian Agency, I'll be sending out personal texts only if I foresee a challenge in the Pisces vibration. So in a way, you don't want to get a personal text on Monday, okay? But if you do, don't sweat it. I'm here with you, that's the whole point. And I'll be outlining where you have challenges going back to your date of birth. Then on Tuesday, it's Lightcast Day. It's a day where we fill our heart with love and we manifest reality. That's because the two most important ingredients of reality are coming together, the sun and the moon, or our capital state of awareness and our emotions. So. We are amped up. And these are the first two steps of light casting reality. We learned this in boot camp, all these two coming together. It does mean that it is time to set with the universe an intention of what your heart wants. So Tuesday is a day to dream. You want to put on your headphones and listen to music that makes you happy and think of happy thoughts. And you want to dive into the possibilities. You want to daydream. This is one of those days that you might want to buy a lotto ticket and spend the whole day daydreaming about what you would spend on it. If that's the simplest way of daydreaming, do it on Tuesday. Okay, and get yourself in your heart. Let's see where that love state of awareness is or isn't, because that is really so important to manifesting reality. You can't do it without your heart focused. Then moving to Wednesday, it's time to explore, time to go shopping, time to see what your heart might want, time to uh, see why your heart is shut down. It's an exploration day. I'm pointing out this massive stellium we have going on uh, in Pisces. Look at this, Chiron. Chiron is a comet asteroid, actually. It's got a weird orbit around the solar system. My belief is it is the ruling agent of Virgo. I don't believe Virgo is ruled by two planets. I think Chiron does the whole job. But Chiron is definitely the healing agent of healing. We've said that uh, as astrologers are agreed upon it. And it is right here. So the point is, is if you come upon an inner child wound, like I can't enjoy Christmas because dad was always he's drunk at Christmas, those types of wounds can be healed right now for good. You could end the story. Chiron's there to help. So Wednesday's about exploring those options. Thursday, ah, the first and probably biggest temper tantrum of the day for scorpions. We have Uranus ruling the day. That means breakdown. Breakdown meaning whatever there was denial, maybe you get to the core of the wound. Basically, wherever your heart chakra is uh, being held back, those things that hold it back break down. So if your partnership breaks down, mm, partnership might be holding back heart chakra. If your car breaks down, mm, something about what this car represents and where you're going, uh, probably in the way of what your heart wants. See what you manifest as a breakdown, because it is after you doing the manifestation. We learned that in boot camp, but things break down. Now, we're going to be there to help you. This is a good time. We're launching for our gardeners something new on the site called Office Hours. This is where our practitioners from Soulmart, including myself, come on camera and give five-minute little quickie readings. These are designed to kind of get you to, first of all, get your hope back. Second of all, see what your options are and point in the right way. We can't heal you. We can't give you a reading. This is just a five-minute right directional and an idea for you to get kind of an eye, uh, for you to get a feel of our practitioners. So on this Thursday, I will be there at the Vortex moment for Soul Garden, which is 9 a.m. Honolulu all the way to 7 p.m. London. Figure it out. It's on the site for where you will be. But then it'll be followed by uh, Vicki Jenkins, who is our relationship psychic, and Burnett. Morgan, who is in Europe. She is our empowerment guru. So come on down and ask a question on Thursday. It's our gift to mankind. Then on Friday, Friday, Mercury rules the day. So we're going to have some breakthrough. Whatever it is, maybe you came down and got some office hours. Maybe you didn't on your own. But you will break through on Friday and understand what the hell was that temper tantrum about? What was my inner child so upset about that day? Also, the moon moves up into reality. The moon moves into Aries. So uh, the storms will quit. You know, when the moon crosses Aries, Whatever emotional reality you have been living in will hit reality. Uh, you want to be careful on Friday. You can manifest a dis-ease in your soul. You don't want too much emotional hitting your body state of awareness because that's what's going to happen. But you will kind of get sober and figure it out on Friday. Also on Friday, don't forget, Carolyn Nagel and myself have SG Live also at the Vortex Moment, 9 a.m. Honolulu, 7 p.m. London. Figure it out. We have borders everywhere telling you the time for your time zone. But this is our view. We have Carolyn, myself, and three practitioners from around the world all streaming live, answering questions. It's cool. We talk about stuff you don't get to hear on mainstream media. Come see us. Then on Saturday, it's Love Fest Day. It is that day where you tell everyone that you love that you love them. Everyone that you love that you love them. It's a day of spreading love. Why? Because the moon crosses Venus. That's why. And when the moon crosses Venus, we are always just naturally kind of emotionally healed, bringing synergy energy to our emotional field. So this is a day that we've made into a holiday in the garden where we just kind of amp up the love. For you, if your inner child was wounded this week, Scorpio, this will be the first day where you really probably feel better. It's definitely a day to be creative. 
If you need to heal yourself, well then go be creative, do stuff for your inner child, that's what it's all about. And also your body too. Your body can come to a healing as well. So if your body's been uh, burning the candle at both ends, for, uh, Saturday is a day that you can kind of heal yourself. By the way, Saturday ruling planet, Venus. <laughs> so double dose of Venus. Now, I got a little surprise for you. For those of you who are watched over by the Guardian Agency, I will be sending out my first phone call to you and a message. That's right, I'll be calling you for Love Fest Day, giving you a little gratitude. So when you see that phone ring, be sure to send it to voicemail or listen to it for one time only. That's courtesy of the Guardian Agency and myself. Can't wait to hear, well, I bet you, well, whatever. Can't wait to hear your voice. I guess I can't hear your voice. Psychically, I can. Then on Sunday, oh, no, I forgot something, actually. Also on Saturday, we have Love Fest Day, and we are launching the Love Lounge. There's another feature we're doing. See, I forget the features. The Love Lounge is this new, awesome music video lounge slash chat room, and Carolyn Nagel is the host of the music video. So uh, it's kind of like trying to make it feel better. So if you feel like shift, come into Love Lounge and amp yourself up, talk to people, get to know people, just watch the music, whatever you want to do. It's just there to just keep it going. And from Saturday on, it's just going to go seven days a week, nonstop. So it's the place to hang out. You'll see me hanging out in that chat room, trust me. Then, on Sunday, 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 my little big truck thing. Sunday, things pretty spiritual on Sunday. Neptune rules a day, so it's a real spiritual day. It's the spiritual side of the inner child story. It's the spiritual side of maybe the karma of why your child might have been wounded or is blocked creatively or is blocked from true love. However it is you're playing it out this transit with the heart chakra, because you're going creativity, love, all sorts of ways. But Sunday is the spiritual why. Why me, God, why? Trying to understand that why. But it really is a day to connect and get clarity and it's a day to have compassion for yourself. Just, you know, to tell your inner child, hey, it's been a very tough life, but that doesn't mean it's gonna keep being a tough life. That's where the adult comes in to save the day. Okay, Scorpio, that's all I have for now, but if you need me, office hours, SG Live, I'll be calling you. all these things. We're here for you at soulguard.me, and I'll see you in seven days. Live, love, be.